Yemen's Hezbollah fighters have launched a fresh missile attack in Saudi Arabia. Yemeni media say that a new short-range ballistic missile dubbed Bat-1 was used in the attack, which targeted Saudi Arabia's southwestern province of Nusran. The missile reportedly slammed into a facility belonging to the kingdom's national energy company, Aramco. Yemeni fighters have been targeting military bases inside Saudi Arabia in retaliation for Riyadh's ongoing onslaught against its southern neighbor. Over 13,800 Yemenis have been killed in the Saudi war since it began in March 2015. Said Mohsen Abbas is a TV journalist who joins us to uh, shed more light about this uh, war on Yemen. Uh, as we speak, uh, the MBS, the Saudi, young Saudi prince, is in uh, the States, and he's being entertained there. Um, of course, massive arms deals and other sales are going on. But one of the people that he has met is the U.S. Uh, Defense Secretary, James Mattis, who said that we need to end this war. First of all, do you believe that the U.S. wants to end this war, and do you feel that... Uh, since Saudi Arabia didn't achieve anything, really, that uh, this war was lost by Saudi Arabia? I think that it has been lost, and I think they're scratching at straws. $700 billion worth of uh, trade, largely arms trade, was announced by Donald Trump and uh, bin Salman yesterday in a kind of disgusting display of absolute uh, ignorance. Well, not ignorance, it's willful ignorance of... Uh, the world's largest humanitarian disaster. That is what Yemen is at the moment. It is the world's largest humanitarian disaster. Uh, you've got 22 million people who are in need of human humanitarian aid. You have 9 million people affected by cholera, uh, around 2,200 dead from cholera already, uh, 3 million people displaced, 17.8 million uh, people are, are in food deficiency situations, half the hospitals are completely shattered and non-functional, uh, 16 million people don't have access to water, and here are two individuals in uh, doing a deal to make sure that we can double these figures. Let me just come away from the figures. Just emotionally, if you think about the children and the mothers and the people on the ground, the last thing they need is a whole lot of armaments to be given to the Saudis to fight a war they've already lost. Uh, then why is it that Trump was uh, bloating on this and he was uh, uh, showing off what he was doing with those placards with the young prince next to him? Did he not realize that some of those missiles or military equipment equals death? Well, basically, Saudi Arabia acts as the United States uh, uh, government's proxy agency in the Middle East, along with Israel. They are the two primary agencies. Qatar and various others are involved. But these are the two main, uh, 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 if you like, forces. Uh, the policies which Saudi is delivering are, are based on a fear uh, that their period and their time of manipulating and dominating the Middle East is over. That's the same fear that the Zionists in Israel have, and the U.S. is desperate to try and rescue uh, whatever foothold it has. I mean, look, in Iraq, uh, 15 years after the Iraqi war, we're now finding that all the oil companies are revealing the scale of the financial income they have from fighting these wars. And not only do they fight these wars, uh, they fight them on the expenses uh, of the, 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 the wealth of Saudi oil and Arab oil money. So basically, uh, US is implementing a, a, an Israeli, pro-Israeli, Zionist, uh, imperialist policy in the Middle East to keep Arabs subjugated and to keep basically ripping them off of, of their assets. And they will do anything. They don't care about democracy or humanitarian rights, uh, as clearly Yemen shows. Uh, 65 people have been killed per day since this Yemeni crisis. Had no arms come in from outside, the chances are that this civil war would have ended very, very early, and in fact, it would have been resolved long ago. It is American arms which is primarily fueling this war and killing these children and, 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 and men, innocent civilians, uh, with Saudi uh, obvious complicity and their war planes. To their credit, the Yemeni uh, fight back. They've knocked down a, an F-15 fighter, it's reported, this week. And this, this strike is a sign to Trump and, uh, and to MBS that basically they're not going to be uh, cowed by their billion, billions. Thank you, Sayyid Mohsen Abbas, TV journalist, from London.